Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is this week's YouTubers Weekly Stampin' Collab. Our host this week is Nerdy Creations, and she chose Thanksgiving um, for us here in the United States or wherever you are if you celebrate Thanksgiving, and the option of fall or autumn, however you want to say it. They're the same. Anyway, so um, that's what we're doing. And, uh, you know what, let's, uh, here we'll go through the plates. This is, um, in the wrong order, it really doesn't matter. This is, uh, M076. These images are cool. This fox and these birds, I'm going to put them on my accent nail on my ring finger. I'm going to split the birds Put them kind of in the background and then stamp the that gorgeous thing oh i love it i can't even tell you how much i love it so um this is a double stamping or layered stamping as some probably most call it um layer stamping so like this image is that image when you stamp over it so whatever color you want these things and then you stamp over it with that. It puts the lines and it finishes out like this is a cup, um, a mug of, I don't know. Let's just say hot toddy. Just kidding. Anyway, so I want you to notice though, like this leaf and this leaf, they're there. So this leaf, this leaf, but then look at that. That's not there that's not there do you see them right here right there yeah so when you stamp the the second one over the layer the second layer of it um you're gonna have to sign you know line up as best you can pick a cup in the middle pick something i think in the center is easy um or an edge if you get the edge and real quick i just wanted to say that if you're double stamping or layer stamping if this is new to you um you could take your this happens to be a beauty bit bang it really doesn't matter which you use but when you pick up your second layer or your first layer make sure that the writing on your stamper is it doesn't matter which way you want it um as long as when you do the layered stamp the second part you're facing the same direction like if you use this beauty big bang and i picked up this i want to make sure that i always have my writing to the left side you can have it to the right side it doesn't matter you can have it up but um when you pick the image up, just make sure that when you pick up the layered image that your stamper is facing the same direction. Um, these aren't, um, you know, aren't really that easy of um, double stamping plates, but they get the hang of it. Just practice a couple of times. No big deal. So this is the other one I may use, and this is Maniology M075. It is the second plate in or the two plates in that collection. These are this year's. And I believe that this Maniology M033 is last year's autumn plate, autumn ball. I really, really like this image. So I'm gonna do that one for sure. So uh, let me just show you the things that I will be using um, on this hand is a Braves Diva Polish, and this one is called Ron Gant Was Safe. I will put, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. There is micro holographic glitters, and I really wanna say like maybe a fuchsia or a purple on top of that. You'll just have to get you some and find out. So Ron Gant Was Safe. I will leave a link to, um, Brave Diva Polish down in the description box. Um, on this hand, I do have a dip system underneath. That's from Evie and um, the Nail Junkie. I'll leave a link to her online store. Uh, she sells dip acrylic powders uh, for dips and 
regular application of acrylic, but awesome products. And kind of what I wanted to show you is that you can paint right over the top of any um, dip system. <laughs> Just uh, buff it up a little bit when you uh, take off or, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, buff it up a little bit before you put the polish on. So on this one, I did use a uh, shutout, and I just put a, a base down underneath just to keep the blue from coming through. And then I put on this beauty. Look how pretty. It is called My Little Peanut. I love this color. I love it. I love the whole thing about it. It's, uh, It's got some... I don't even know what color that is. Uh, you just have to get some for yourself, but uh, really it's kind of a white, off-white base and some interesting, yeah, it's pretty. I love it. I don't know if you can see. Don't look at my cuticles. Did I already say that? Look, this one is split so deep. It hurts. It actually kept me up last night. So. I'm going to go right here onto this plate first, and this is the M033 um, I'm going to use a variety of Maniology polishes, spiced orange and I think I'm going to throw in this one uh, an auto clay so I'm going to put the auto clay around the outside like that. I've had this one a long time. So when you can get pretty precise with it. And then this one in the middle. And um I would just suggest that you, you know, wipe that off a little bit before you put it back in your bottle. There go scrape once. If you want to blend it more you can scrape more um but oh yeah that's much better can you see it now oh it's so cute i think i am gonna put this one right here on the center I'm happy that stuck because I do not have it says happy autumn. I don't have a sticky base coat on, so I'm impressed that that actually stuck. I'm gonna grab a piece of tape and just take this off my cuticles as best I can because um, they really they they're just tore up from acetone, and I do have an acetone additive. Um, I don't think it's enough for the size uh, acetone that I poured in there, but hey, whatever. So, uh, happy autumn, and uh, I think I want to do this one too. This one says autumn, but from top to, yeah. So, let's do the opposite of this one. I'm going to put the an auto clay, let's say like right here in the middle, and spiced orange all around. Way too much polish, but that's good. Doesn't matter. Um, and scrape once. Remember, if you scrape it more than once, you'll get a blend, more of a blend. Um, yeah. I didn't think the autumn got right, but it didn't, I don't think. Oh no, it's all there. Whoa. Can we fit it on our pinky? No, let's do this one. What kind of want more of the leaf? So I'm gonna kinda set it sideways. Probably wasn't the best placement. Ah, a leaf game. 
the leaf came off. All right, well, most of it's stuck. Cute. Right, so I'm going to switch plates. I'm cleaning this off with my um, lint roller. But this one is like really hard to get, so I have to peel it like slowly so I don't lose track of where it's going. Anyway, so, all right, yeah, I'm cleaning that off with a lint roller. And we can, although my OCD might kick in and make me want to clean that plate, but I definitely will do it before I put it away. Okay, so apparently I talk way too much. Anyway, um, my battery is going dead, so I'm going to show you the other two. I'm going to pick up this image. And probably put it on my pinky. And I do want to use the fox from um, 076. So I'm going to do that. I'll be back to um, just show you a picture at the end. If you're new here, thank you very much for swinging by and spending time with me. And if you are a regular subscriber, thanks for coming back. So, if you're new, like, subscribe, hit the bell, even if you're old. I mean, not old, but, you know, a regular subscriber. Like the bell, like, hit the bell, all that stuff. Anyway, have a great day, guys. Um, happy Thanksgiving, and give thanks for the people around you. And remember that family doesn't really always mean blood. So, good people. Like, my group on... Um, the, this group, the YouTubers Weekly Stampin' Collab group, they're, they're my family. So, happy Thanksgiving. Talk to you guys later. Smile at the Grumpy. Bye.